Have you been drawing for years but you've been frustrated because you've not improved to being that dream artist? Well, this might be why your art still sucks. I recently read a book called The Practicing Mind by Thomas Tanner and it talks about the right mindset we should bring into practicing. It has been helping me since I've been practicing, practicing, practicing mind. Wow, that's cool, Sha. This is where most of what I'll be saying comes from. Whenever we practice, we set on realistic goals with most of them unattainable. I remember setting my drawing goal to being able to draw people from memory, like I would just scan their faces, memorize proportions, sizes and areas of different characteristics of the head, then go back and draw it completely realistically, without using any reference photo or anything, as in that over the peak, that if I try to practice towards it, I might feel frustrated because I, f I would feel that I have not improved to being what I want to become. Using this analogy, we are like sailors who set our goals as reaching the horizon and it's, it's not possible to reach the horizon. And my goals are as unrealistic as this, so whenever I practice, I set my eyes on this goal, then begin to be emotional and judgmental about the progress. Pulling myself out of the present moment, fantasizing on random thoughts, fantasizing on my goal while practicing. As in, this, this have been my problems, but after reading this book, I have found the solutions to these problems. The first problem I had is that I wasn't engaged with my practice because I left the present moment and the second is that I became more judgmental and emotional. So in order to be in the present moment, you know, we have to be in the present moment and when we are in the present moment, it takes less time for us to finish the task and we perform the task more effectively. You know, um, whenever I brush my teeth, I take about 9 to 12 minutes to complete the brushing. But that's much. It takes less than 3 minutes to brush. Because when I brush my teeth, I actually think about many things while brushing. I'm even be doing other things while I'm even brushing my teeth. So I try to focus on brushing my teeth without thinking about any stuff and focus on brushing every tooth slowly and steady. Well, you might think that this would take more time, but it actually took me four to six minutes. Well, at least I tried and my teeth were okay till the night. Whereas other times I would have started feeling somewhere in my mouth. So this is one of the benefits of staying in the present moment. Now let's take a look at what this present moment, what it really means. No, whenever you are doing something for the first time, you put all your attention, you pay all your attention to it. I remember the early days of me driving when I was still learning driving. Like I would just put all my attention on it, on the way I would roll the steering, on what to press and everything that my friends would be at the back, they would be talking and they would be like, favor, what do you think about this? I would never hear anything, like I would just continue driving because I was so absorbed in driving the car. So it's, it's called the beginner's mind that this is what you should use to approach practicing. Take it one step at a time. You know, you, you fall seven times, you get up eight times, you make use of exper experience, you let go of being an expert and you experience the moment fully. So according to the book, we should approach whatever we are doing with the four S words, which means simplify, small, short and slow. So in whatever you are to do, whether drawing or anything, simplify it into small portions. Approach it slowly. Just like I did in the brushing experiment, I simplified it into one tooth at a time. Then I started slowly. I don't know if any of you also takes that long to brush your teeth. I'm, I don't know, I'm just weird. For me, it's, it's like that. Well, you can just try it into something that you feel like it takes more of your time but it's actually supposed to take lesser of your time so you can try it in other things just simplify it into short portions then start slowly so don't bite off more than you can chew you have to stay in the process because progress is a natural result of staying focused in the process of doing anything and lastly be deliberate whenever you want to learn a skill on a musical instrument you deliberately repeat the scale over and over from slow to fast as you make progress 
if you have to throw a tennis ball into a basket which is 10 meters away and you are given three trials you when you throw the first ball the way you throw the first ball will determine the way you throw the second ball and the way you throw the second ball will determine the way you throw the third ball which might actually result to you throwing it inside the basket so that's the way we should approach practicing you should focus on the process you know when you focus on the process you use what happens in the process to get towards your goal but if you are focusing on just aligning to enter inside the basket and just keep throwing without even looking at the manner of you throwing it then it just becomes chaos so whenever you make a bad drawing do you redraw it or just judge like oh i messed up this skin at this little portion this old drawing is bad in fact i'm a very bad artist oh or we try to let go of our emotions and think in the manner of throwing the tennis balls into the basket and redraw the damn drawing without making that same mistake well i'm guilty of this i emotionally judge drawings every time it's bad and never touch that drawing again we should be deliberate because with deliberate practice and repeated efforts progress is inevitable so let's not focus on knowing how to draw like jazza or like kelvin or carford but focus on the learning process your goal should not be knowing how to draw but learning how to draw when we make staying in the process our goal we experience success in every moment live every moment of your life to the fullest and focus on one thing at a time whether with your friends family or work all what i said in this video revolves around one thing which is patience and patience does not just come with you putting your efforts you can't just wake up in the morning and be like mm, today i'm going to be patient no it doesn't work that way patience comes when you when you practice some things like the things i just said in this video all i said in this video is also applicable to other things you are learning even life itself it's 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 if you find this video helpful read the book practicing mind by thomas Tanner and like this video make sure you like this video so youtube will show this video into other artists face or other people's faces helping them and helping me also so it's like a win-win for everyone the power to help everybody's in your hands just click on the like button subscribe to this channel and stay artistic i'll see you in the next video probably i don't know when it comes out <laughs>